Well, Ellen, that tragic hit and run happened right in this intersection that you see behind me. Police are searching for two suspects. They don't have clear descriptions of either of them, but what is distinct is that the car they were driving has front end damage and a broken windshield. And some people <laughs> ran her over. Please, somebody help me. The victim's mother is overwhelmed with grief. Her 19-year-old daughter, USC student Andriana Bacan, was killed by a hit-and-run driver around 3 o'clock yesterday morning while walking home from a fraternity party with a group of friends. She was unbelievable. She was good. <laughs> she worked so hard. Detectives say Bacan wasn't the only victim. 19-year-old SC student Marcus Garfinkel was also hit by the car and survived with serious injuries. He is now hospitalized. It happened at the intersection of Hoover Street and Jefferson Boulevard. Police say witnesses saw the car hit the teenagers, pull over, and then they saw the passenger get out of the car, drag Garfinkel from the hood, and toss him onto the ground. The individual that was responsible for this lacks total courage, he's heartless, and he has no regard for human life. And this individual should certainly be caught. It's one thing to hit a person, it's another to just not care. They're pigs, they ran the line, took my daughter and the young man that was with her. And when he hit the windshield, they, the driver got out of the car and threw him on the, on the street. Today, LAPD detectives reached out for the public's help in tracking down the car and the suspects. We really need the public's help. We have a vehicle out there that has extensive damage to the front end and a broken windshield. And here's the number that police give out for you to call if you have any information. It's 1-877-LAPD-247. They say there were three to five witnesses, and they want those people to come forward and give them any information that they can. The vehicle, a dark late model sedan, possibly a black Honda Accord, a black Lexus, or a Toyota Corolla. Reporting live, Leslie Sykes, ABC7 Eyewitness News.